Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I'm going to be working on this water jasmine or Rightia religiosa. This tree was given to me by the Tropical Bonsai Inc. The water jasmine is a new species for me. So when I brought this tree home uh, maybe a month ago, I haven't done any work to it. I just wanted to see how it grows. I wanted it to settle into being in the greenhouse here. And it's put on a lot of growth. You can see all these new shoots coming off the trunk here. It has some really nice fragrant flowers on it that just smell beautiful. So that was my first step, just acclimatize it to the new environment here. And today I'm going to be uh, evaluating the tree, repotting it, and doing a first styling. So that will be exciting. I've been looking at the styling of this tree. So it's had a big branch cut off here. It's had a big branch cut off here. And then the main trunk line here has a big cut up here where, you know, a leader is being cut off. So it, it was cut down to a stump originally, and then it's grown some branches and they've been wired into positions. So at this point on the tree, there's one, two, three, four branches, and one of them has been wired up to create a leader. Now the problem with this is that the one that's creating the leader is at the back, the trunk leans forward and then the leader is at the back. So you see this big scar from the front and the most upright branch is at the back if this is the front. So that can't really be the front. So I'm thinking that I need the front to be either this view or around the other side so that the trunk line kind of flows up into the that leader that's been wired up. It's a, it's a very difficult tree to style. So if that's the case, if this is my main trunk line and this is my leader here, then I, I've got a branch coming straight out the front or you know, I could rotate it so it's slightly offset, but I have two branches, two bar branches growing from one spot here, and then there's a third branch here. So, yeah, it, it's a very difficult tree to, you know, get an initial style for. It's possible I can change the angle of the tree, but a lot of that will be determined by the root base. If the root base is flat, with the trunk on this angle, you can't really rotate it too much or part of the roots will stick out of the soil and the other side will be buried in the soil. So once you have a flat root base kind of established on a tree, you can't really change the angle of the trunk much. You can slightly do it, but it's basically, you know, once you've got those surface roots in a flat radial pattern, you're pretty well stuck with that orientation for the trunk. So I don't know how these big scars that are cut here, the wood seems really tough on these trees. I don't know how easily that'll heal. Uh, you know, if you have to grow your tree into a giant tree for these wounds to close over, I have a feeling that this, this wood will rot away before the wound heals on this tree because they're fairly large cuts. Now there are some older cuts up here that have some callusing on them, so it's maybe it's not impossible that those wounds will heal, but I guess we'll find out in the future. Yeah, so I think I think the first step for this tree, and I the first step with most trees is to get the root base sorted out, get the tree potted into a nice bonsai soil to get that flat kind of radial root base going. It'll keep the tree healthy. And then the styling will be the next step. So I can do both today. I can do, you know, repotting and the some initial styling work on the tree. You know, getting rid of some of these branches I won't use. Picking a style for the tree. 
and, and that kind of thing. I, I think I can do a lot of work on this tree today. I did go online and I tried to find pictures of the natural form of water jasmines. I found one tree, sort of a small tree that had kind of a twisty trunk and an umbrella shaped canopy on it, sort of a typical tropical tree style. There were a few other pictures of trees in people's gardens that weren't very big and they were kind of styled into geometrical shapes, something like hedges and ornamental trees for their gardens. So I didn't have much luck finding pictures of water jasmines growing in the wild and their natural tree form. So the styling of this, I think I will try and style it in the typical tropical style of an umbrella shaped canopy with an interesting trunk and branch lines to the tree. Here's a close up of the trunk. So a fairly clean looking trunk up to here, but you can see the big chop up here and I'll show you a better angle of that. There's a shot of the big cut on the top and you can see the four branches coming from that cut point. Here's a look at the one scar on the lower trunk where a big branch is being cut off. Right there and then around this side you can see the other big scar here. Now it, it does look like they heal over fairly well. There's been another branch chopped off here. So my problem with this area of the tree, I'll, I'll show you from another view. So this side of the tree has had all these big chops. It's contributed to the trunk thickness, but there's no it, like there's a lot of mass on this side of the tree and no branch or leader coming off that side. So it, it just looks like, you know, this side of the tree was growing and then it was cut back. So there's, yeah, it, it's a bit of a problem. You know, if it had another thick trunk coming out this side, it would justify the the mass of the trunk on this side of the tree. So I think I need to grow something coming out of that part of the tree so it doesn't look like you know it was just reduced to a stump in this area here you know if I want to get a nice flowing uh, tree in the end which is what I'm after I don't want uh, I, I don't want it to look like a tree that was just you know kind of hacked back I want it to be smooth and flowing if possible, you know, reducing the number of scars so it looks like a beautiful tree. It's a bit, uh, a bit ugly with these scars at the moment. Up top on the tree, you can see the wire marks where the branches were wired into position. So it has some fairly bad scarring to the point where I think the live veins might be, you know, a bit of a spiral especially on some of these side branches here. So I'll have to be careful of that. Um, uh, you know, they will grow out, but I'm wondering, you know, if I'll get this spiral live vein going up the branch. So if possible, if I have to remove branches, I'll remove the worst, the worst ones, the ones with the heavy wire marks that, that uh, have really cut down to the, almost to the wood, I think. So yeah, I, I'm a little skeptical of the, uh, the healing of some of these wire marks. Even though this tree has a lot of areas that need work and improvement, overall it is a very beautiful tree. I really like this species for bonsai. I'm going to begin the work on the tree and step one will be getting the tree out of the pot and getting the roots sorted out. So here I go, I'll just try lifting it out. There we go. So you can see it's in a... Um, a fairly good soil. It has a lot of perlite in it. A lot of organic matter too, but uh, you can see the root growth is really good. And this was uh, this was imported bare-rooted from Vietnam, so all this this root growth is since it was uh, brought into the country. So I'll remove the old pot and begin raking out the roots. It's interesting, the pot that it came in has this texture on the inside of the pot and that helps roots uh, divide so they don't just kind of wrap around the pot. 
the rough texture kind of helps the roots grow into a more of a fibrous root system. So it's quite a nice pot, a good training pot. I'm sure I'll put another tree in this pot. Here's a look at the pot that I'll be putting the tree in. So this tree was imported from Vietnam and the pot was made in Vietnam also. So I'll have a Vietnamese tree in a Vietnamese pot. That'll be quite nice. All right, I'll begin combing out the root base. So most of these tropical trees should be repotted when the weather is warm and humid. So here in the greenhouse, I can turn the heat on at night to keep it warm in here, just on low. And it should recover quite well from this you know, root pruning and repotting operation. So you can see there's been a lot of roots cut off here that will need some fixing. I want to try and get a nice flowing root base on the tree. And if I have a little more trunk, I'll expose that too. The tree is quite short. So it would be nice to have a little taller trunk if possible, but I'll see what I get. This tree smells beautiful with the flowers. Oh, they smell heavenly. I can see why they call it the water jasmine because it just, well, it smells like a jasmine flower. It's just beautiful. So it looks like I've got like multi layers of roots in here. It's going to be high roots and low roots and tangled roots. I think it'll be quite a challenge to get this root base sorted out, but they do grow roots very easily. It's a good species for bonsai. It's used a lot in tropical countries. It's not so common here in Canada. I've seen a few at bonsai shows, but nothing. I, I've never seen like, you know, really outstanding specimens of bonsai shows. I've seen some pretty nice ones, but uh, not really old, old mature trees. So I'm sure that's going to change because the tropical bonsai is, has imported some beautiful specimens. Connor got one of them. And this one will develop into something pretty special too, I think. May take a few years, but... So I'm getting close to bare rooting it. I, I will have to get my bucket and kind of wash the root system so I can really see what's going on before I start the root pruning. But yeah, I've got it basically bare rooted now. Lots of nice fine roots in the root system. I think it'll recover quite, quite well and quite easily from this repotting. And I, I believe they grow quite easily from cuttings too. I've never tried a cutting off one yet, but uh, we'll certainly try rooting some of the cuttings when I prune the tree today. There's no harm in trying. If it works well, well then I have some more trees for future bonsai work. I can give them away the cuttings or develop a forest. If this tree is the main tree. We will see. Okay, I think I'm ready to dunk the root ball in a bucket of water and get it all cleaned up. All right, here I go. The tree just barely fits in there. Just swish it around a bit, get that root base cleaned off. All right, I've got the tree and I'll put it on the, the serving tray here. You can see that, you know, the root base is quite thick, so I'll need to reduce it. So, I'm going to start. You see this root here, it, it doesn't come out in a radial direction. It's cranked really far over, so I'm going to remove that totally. So I'll come in here, I'll cut it away roughly at first, like that, and you can see there was a 
sucker growing up on that root. So if I planted that, I would get another tree. So I'll keep that in my bucket of water. There's a lot of roots in this area that are growing up out of the soil, so I need to prune those away. Like that. So you can see the remains of this root in here now, so I'll try and isolate it and, and cut it away. I'm trying to cut it flush with the trunk because there's no part of the root that's going in a radial direction, so I need to prune it right back flush. I have a few roots on top here that are sticking up out of the soil, so I need to prune those away also. There's one here sticking up. So now I'm getting a better view of my root base here. I have, there's a root here. It, it kind of comes up out of the soil and around. It, it doesn't flow down nicely into the soil, so that one needs to be removed also. You can see it here. So I'll come in and remove that one. Like that. And prune it fairly flush to the trunk also. I'll just comb out the remaining roots and try and see what I have. I'm trying to get a nice flare from the trunk flaring down into the soil. So here's another root that's sticking up. I'll prune that away. here. Some fine ones sticking up out of the soil. Okay, so this area needs rewashing, so I'll, I'll keep going around the tree. Now I have a lot of high roots on this side that will need pruning away. There's one sticking straight up here. I can go Another little one here, sticking straight up. Some more here. So now you can see I've exposed some of the flare of the roots there, which looks quite attractive. There's some sticking up here. One sticking up here. Tangle these roots. Okay, so I've got one. You can see here there's a fairly thick one, and it does start off in a radial direction and then it goes slightly off to the side. So I'm just going to shorten that one. So I'll come in from above like this and prune it right here, like that, and that'll grow new roots. And maybe I'll shorten it a little more. It's still a little long. Like that. Maybe even a little more. There. So all the new roots that come out from that cut point will be nice and radial. So it kind of keeps the best part of the root to create a future root flare that'll be really nice. Do a bit more combing here. Ah, that exposes quite a bit. So I'm seeing a fairly thick root that comes from here goes down fairly deep here. And that's this big thick root that was cut off here. So it was quite a root, quite a thick one. So I'll wash that again and then come in and 
prune it. There's one here. It goes up out of the soil and then horizontal. So I need to take that one off. that. There's another one here you can see it comes off this root goes straight up and then horizontal so that needs to be taken back. I can keep part of that root. Just a little bit of it. There's a few root hairs sticking straight up here I can prune away. So you can see I'm exposing part of the root flare here, which is looking really, really good. Now this side is a bit of a tangled bird's nest of roots. So I'm going to have to do a bit of pruning here and get rid of this one that's sticking up. That one can go. There's one here coming up straight up. That one can go. One here sticking straight up, that can go. Another one here. Couple here. I'll cut this one back short. Like that. More combing required now. Now here's one, the roots going this direction, it should be radial, so that has to come off. And I've got to find where it starts from. I'll prune it off for here, at here, and then maybe once I sort these out, I can get a little better access to it. I'll prune off these ones, all tangled here. There's one sticking up here. It comes from down below so that it gets pruned away. There's one sticking up here. That needs to be pruned away. Just trying to see where it starts from way back here and it's not radial at all. So it has to go totally like that. Here sticking up. Ooh, it's raining outside. Okay, some more combing required now. So there's a root in here coming from coming off at a weird angle and sticking up too high. That one gets removed. A few roots that are too high here can be removed. And here. This one's sticking up. This one's coming on some strange, strange angle. Can't be removed. That one. So some fine roots in here I can cut away, kind of exposing a bit of trunk here. So I'm kind of working the root base down from the top down, you know, always looking for good roots. And my major kind of surface roots. Because a lot of these ones on the top are quite fine. Okay, so on this side, I've got a root, a couple of roots that are just not going in a radial direction and 
can't be used, so I've got to prune them away. I've just got to get in here like that. That away. Uh, there's one over here that has to get pruned away. This one's sticking up here. Prune that away. Now you can see here there's a lot of stubs in this area that are sticking out. I've got to get those pruned back so they're not sticking straight up. Like that. Okay, I think it's time to rewash it. I, I don't like this root here. I'm pretty sure that's got to come off. I better do that before I wash it because it's coming up at a weird angle. It goes up and then horizontal. This one too, I just broke off. Here's one sticking straight up, coming at a strange angle. There's another one beside it, and come off. Probably some of these will have to come off too. Okay, I, I think it's time to rewash the root base. See what's going on once again. I've got the root base washed again, and I, I can use a spray bottle to come in and... There's a little bit of the original field soil from Vietnam in here. So I'm just making sure I get that washed away. Like that, so you can see the roots really clearly. So I'm going to start, you can see here, there's a major root that comes down and out here. So I, I need to shorten that. So I'm going to come in with my ratcheting pruners and slice that off. So I need to come in it starts to curve around, so I need to come in sort of where, keeping the best part of the root, about here, I would say. So here I go. I'm going to take that root off now. I'm trying to get in the best I can. And I may have to clean this cut up once I get the root removed to try and get it at a better angle. Yeah, it's very difficult to get in here. There's a lot of roots. Well, it's coming. I can see it's wiggling now. Let's see if I can break it there. So that root's come off. You can see how thick it was. So from that cut point, I should get a lot of new fine roots growing out, which will be my nice radial roots. I'm going to clean up above that. Above that, you can see there's some bumpy roots here. I'm going to clean those up. So I get a nice flowing root base eventually. That's the goal. And there's a bump here I can clean up. Remains of a root. There's one sticking up here, I'll cut back. This one's sticking straight up, I'll cut that away. This one's okay, it's a little high, but it's all right. This one needs cleaning up. It's, this rot root was crossing the one below it, so I'm trying to clean away the upper root. Like that. Let me just spray in there. Like that. Now, in this area is a bit of congestion. I need to sort these roots out in this area. There's some of that original Vietnam field soil in here, or from a pot.
Okay, so you can see there's a lot of roots in this area. If my root plane is going to be lower, these are all sticking way up, you know, out of the root plane, so I need to prune them away, cleaning up this area of the root system. There's one in here that needs to be cleaned away. Keeping your good flowing root. This one, you can see it comes up and then horizontal, so it needs to be cleaned out. All these ones in this area, they don't flow down into the soil. This one again, it, it, it's a strange angle. It comes up and then horizontal, so that's got to get cleaned out. This one's got to be pruned back. These have to be pruned back more. Like that, kind of exposing the nice flowing trunk line. That flare at the base of the tree, if that's what you're after. It's beautiful root flare. And it's getting there. I'm exposing quite a bit of it. It was always there. It was just hidden. Here's a root that wraps around the trunk. That's got to go. I'm sticking up here. So all these roots are too high here. They need to be nibbled away down to nothing. that. So again you can expose a little more trunk, a bit more flare at the base of the roots. I'll have to get my toothbrush in there and really, really clean that up. So you can see how much I've lowered the soil level from way up here down to here now, exposing that root flare, which is you know, part of the beauty of these jasmines. Now on the bottom I have a lot of roots that have to come off. So it, my root plane, my soil level will be about here, somewhere about here. So I need to cut off all these ones on the bottom. And there's some really thick ones here. So I will start by just yeah, removing the ones I can get to. Yeah, there's been, it, it was root pruned at one time. This is the bottom of the root plane. You can see it was pruned off flat. So I need to, I need to come in and raise that bottom. So my root base isn't so thick. So I'm looking for places I can come in here. don't think I want to lower these surface roots anymore. I don't believe so anyway. Like I could in this one spot. You can see, you know, the trunk extends down or the roots and looks fairly attractive down to this level, but that's the only place all the rest, there's no flow there. So they all have to be cut away.
So I'm kind of exposing the bottom where I'll be making my cuts. And I may have to use a saw, I don't know, to get in here. All depends on what's here, how tough they are. Yeah, it's pretty woody down here. I may have to get the saw. Just slice through. I think I'll clean up the roots again. I've got a lot of soil here. I'm going to try sawing the bottom off here. Right about here. So here I go. So far it's cutting fairly easily. Almost through. Okay, that's done. Cut off a lot of wood there. So now, here's what I'm left with. Definitely a shallower root system. Hopefully all these cuts on the bottom will eventually heal. If not, you end up with like a hollow trunk. Just cleaning up some of these saw cut points, making them a little cleaner. Okay, that's got that. All right, let's clean up and I'll kind of examine what I've got left and do some more root pruning. Okay, here is our tree. So the first thing I'm going to clean up I noticed on the trunk here there's a branch stub. I'm going to clean that up. It's kind of spoiling the smooth lines of the trunk. There. Now, let's have a look here. So this is what I call the detail root pruning. So I'm coming in and I'm pruning off any roots that aren't radial kind of the final touch-ups. So here's one that's not cut quite flush enough yet. So I come in and fix that up like that. These ones are sticking up too far. Turn those off. So you want everything to flow down into the soil. Here's like a crossing root here. Put that away. This one's coming at a strange angle. This one's starting to go upwards. That one's okay. This one could be shortened quite far, quite far back. 
there. Some of these can be shortened a bit too. They're a little long, but I guess they're not too bad. There will be in a quite a large shallow pot. Here you can see there's a few roots sticking up here. Some of them could be lowered a bit, but I find sometimes it's better just to cut them off and regrow them. Because they're always kind of sticking up out of the soil. Like here, there's one sticking up there. So here's a, a long root. The radial direction would be here, and it's cranked over a bit, so I need to prune that one off. Short. Like that. Try and get some roots growing in a little more of a radial direction. There's one sticking up here. A strange direction, that one. Look at that. That one could be shortened. This one could be shortened too. So this was a big cut on this side, so hopefully I'll get a lot of new roots forming on this side of the tree in the future. That's the goal, usually around your cut points you do. Now here you can see there's some roots. They flow down and then they start growing upwards, so I'm going to prune that upwards part off. This part. really reducing these roots back. There's a few crossing roots here I can clean out. Just get my root rake and recomb this. Spray them so I can see what's going on. sticking up here I can get rid of this one I don't know it's better get rid of it that one off shorter clean these bumps up here back a bit just so they're not you know creating all these bumps you want the root base to heal over nice and smooth eventually okay I think I'm getting down there to you know the bare minimum and I think it's almost ready to plant. Just need to do a little more work there. Clean this bump up here. Let's try and get under this root a bit more. better in that area. I think this upper root has to go here. It's too high. Maybe just nibble this crossing one away a bit here. You can see it's still crossing. There, I've dug it out. 
snip it off like that. Just get my toothbrush out and I'll just remove all this old soil off the trunk line. There's a root crossing here and it's kind of grown around it so I'm pruning that original root away and that should heal eventually. It'll look a little funny for a while but I could get in here and prune this a little more flush. quite hard out now. Okay, I am going to leave it at that. I think that is a lot of root work for one day. So I'll let the tree recover and don't like this root. I said that was enough root work for one day, but apparently it's not. I need to kind of fix this one and get rid of it. That one's got to come off. And then I can make all these other ones flush around here. That's better. Got a little more flow there from that area. This one's on a horrible angle. Okay, well, it's sort of a giant cutting, isn't it? But you can see, you know, the original soil level was here, and I've gone all the way down to here for my trunk. So I've got quite a bit of extra trunk and flare and width to the trunk. So quite nice, actually. Um, as far as the root base, this is a nice view here. And, you know, my trunk line does come forward, so... 
I think if I were to plant the tree, I think the front would have to be here. So that's what I'll plan on. Like that. All right, let's, uh, let's get this tree planted now. That was a lot of intense root work on that tree. If the tree survives, it'll have a fantastic root base. You know, flat, radial, everything you want in a tree. I think the chances are good that it will survive. I'll take good care of the tree. It'll be here in the greenhouse. I'll keep it warm, humid, well watered. It should recover, fingers crossed. I'm just taking a look at the pot now to see if there's like an obvious front to the pot. Oh, this is I think definitely the nicer side of the pot. So this will be the front of the pot because this foot has missing a bit of glaze down here and it, it has a bit of a sag in the middle there. So I think this is the, the nicer side of the pot, the feeder glaze. It's a little straighter across the top. So the tree, it, it leans to the left. So I would plant the tree to the right in the pot, to the rightia religiosa. And as far as a front, I'm thinking here, and I may have to replace the leader of the tree. So instead of being this tall one, it would be this branch here, which comes out front and it would hide that big scar in here. Uh, if I kept this as the leader of the tree, I would have to remove this front branch, which, you know, I can do. I think I would want to adjust the planting angle slightly so it's a little more upright so the main trunk comes up and over just to balance it a bit. Right now it's sort of almost like a semi cascade with this strong branch over here. I mean, I could develop a crown here on the tree and have it more of a semi-cascade tree. There's always a possibility. That might be quite nice, actually. I definitely have to grow, you know, this side of the tree up. Um, and quite a bit, if it's going to balance this trunk line on the angle here to create kind of a broom style. If that's my intention, if I grow it more upright, I still, yeah. I think the planting would be somewhere about here. And I don't think I can tilt the trunk much because my root base is already kind of flat and radial. Just putting a stub off here. There. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll get a base layer of soil in the pot and then I can play around with the planting. I've got my drainage screens in the pot, so I'll add a base layer of soil just a shallow one because this is a very shallow pot and the root system is shallow so I can't you know, get the tree too high out of the pot otherwise I'd be mounding my soil up which can look okay on some trees but so there's a base layer of soil so now I have to position my tree okay here I go positioning the tree so definitely over this side. You don't want it over this side of the pot or this space looks kind of wasted. Um, I think I'll want this trunk line coming forward. So maybe something about here. 
you know, I don't want it in the middle of the pot, but offset a bit. So maybe somewhere about there. I think looks pretty good. Maybe just a little more over. Like that. I think that's good. I I think I've got to go with this planting angle because of the flat root base. And I'll just grow the side of the tree out to balance the tree. Okay, I'm going to add some soil now. So here I go. And I'll pile it up quite high. It'll hold the tree in place and I can always rake it away at a later date to expose the surface roots. I'm in no hurry yet. As long as they're developing there under the soil, I'll be happy. Now let's see if this tree stands up by itself. It does just. So I'll need to get some more soil. And kind of fill the pot and that should hold the tree in place. And I can put some stones around the tree, the root base to hold it securely in the pot until the roots start growing in it. You know, it gets that flat root base. So once the roots have grown, it won't be able to tip over in this pot because it'll be quite shallow and horizontal spreading. Okay, so a little more soil. Get some around the back here. And I'll be piling it up, you know, a little a little high around the tree. Because I don't want those surface roots to dry out at all. I think that's looking pretty good there. So I'll just kind of work my soil in a bit. There's not many roots on the tree to worry about air pockets or anything. So the tree is quite firm in the soil right now. It's not going to tip over unless you know you were to bump it or something. But I'll, it'll be safe here in the greenhouse. Okay, I'm going to give the planting a watering now. All right, here I go with the water. And I'll give it a good, good soaking. And I'll water it several times today to make sure all the soil particles are saturated with water. Because they start out quite dry and they'll slowly absorb water throughout the day. So when you first repot a tree, it's good to water two or three times in a row you know waiting for maybe an hour or two between the waterings and that way your soil will soak in as much water as it can water the top of the tree and today is a good cloudy day it's rainy it's humid out good conditions for repotting and it's nice and warm in the greenhouse here so that'll do for the first watering. I'm standing back now having a look at the tree. I'll rotate it around so you can see it from all angles. So this is the front. Going around to the right hand side. Around to the back. Around to the left hand side. And then back to the front. So the important work today was the root base. Once that's all growing nicely, 
that part of the tree is, you know, in order. It, it's set to go, you know, just further developing that nice radial root base and slowly exposing it. The top of the tree, you can see they, you know, send shoots out all over the place. So it can be dramatically restyled. I can remove branches, grow new leaders. So the top of the tree isn't sorted out yet, but that'll come in the future. I'm going to wait until the tree's established in this pot, and then I'll take a look at it and decide what I'm going to do with the styling. And I, I think I'm kind of leaning towards removing this front branch and growing this as the leader, the tall one, and then growing another kind of branch out this side to kind of balance the tree. I think it'll be a really good looking tree in the future. I think it's, yeah, got an exciting future ahead of it. It's got a lot of good things going for it at the moment. And I was really happy with the roots. I think, I, I think it's got the basis of a nice root flare and a radial root system that will just be, you know, hopefully really one of the nice features of this tree in the future. I will place some stones around the base of the tree just to securely hold it in place so it doesn't get bumped or anything like that. Um, maybe like that. And these will just be temporary until the roots grow into the, you know, fill the pot and the tree will be quite stable then. The only other work I could do today is I could prune a bit of the shoots on the top of the tree just to lighten the load on the root system. So I, I think I'll do that. I'm not going to take much off. So you can see there's a big strong shoot here. I don't think I'll be able to use this. I want to grow one of these ones that's fanning out. Uh, so I'll prune this one back. That's a new shoot that's grown since I've had the tree. I'll just prune this one back a little shorter. There's some new shoots here I can prune back. Just kind of maintaining that rounded canopy. Just kind of lightening the load on the roots so they don't have to do as much work to keep the tree happy. I think that's good. I think. Well, maybe I could get to shorten these ones. Just a little bit. Okay, that'll do. I did a lot of work on my water jasmine today. A lot of work on it. And I think it has the potential to become an outstanding tree in the future. I really want to thank the Tropical Bonsai Inc. for giving me this tree as a gift. I really appreciate it. I've always wanted one in my collection. So I'll keep you updated on the progress as soon as it starts to grow and recover. I'll show you updates. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.